بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم گریو دا فرسٹ اسٹیشن ون آف دا اسکیری اسٹیشن ان آر جرنی ٹو دا ہیئر آفٹر ایوری ڈے دا گریو سیز انا بیت الغربا انا بیت الوحش انا بیت الدود آئی ایم دی ہاؤز آف لونلینس I am the home of fear. I am the home of worms. The first station is the horror of the grave. When the body is brought to the grave, the teaching is that it must not be buried immediately. It should be brought in a slow and a gradual process in three stops. The final third stop being in the grave. The grave has great horrors. At every stop, those carrying the body must pray and ask Allah to ease the onward journey on the deceased. Marhum Majlisi says, Although the soul has departed from the body, but its connection with the body is not totally lost. The fear of a violent grave, a turbulent grave, the questioning of Nakir and Munkar, Roman and Fantan in the grave, the punishments in Barzakh are all awaiting every individual. Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salam in his beautiful dua in Sahifa Sajjadiyya, a supplication in calling down blessings upon the bearers of the throne, And every angel brought near says, وَالسَّفَرَةِ الْكِرَامِ الْبَرَرَةِ وَالْحَفَظَةِ كِرَامِ الْكَاتِبِينَ وَمَلَكِ الْمَوْتِ وَأَعْوَانِهِ وَمُنْكَرٍ وَنَكِيرٍ وَرُومَانَ فَتَّانِ الْقُبُورِ وَالطَّائِفِينَ بِالْبَيْتِ الْمَعْمُورِ وَمَالِكٍ وَالْخَزَنَةِ وَرِضْوَانِ وَالسَّدَنَةِ الْجِنَانِ The devoted noble scribes, the watchers, noble writers, the angel of death and his helpers, Munkar and Nakir, Ruman, the tester in the graves, the circlers of the inhabited house, Malik and the guardians Ridwan and the gatekeepers of the heavens an angel named Ruman Fattan Ruman the tester in the graves when the body is laid in the grave and all those who had attended the funeral have gone An angel appears in the grave known as Ruman or Fattan al-Qubur or Ruman Fattan. This angel appears before the arrival of Nakir and Munkar. He comes to check the dead person in and to decide if he is among the prosperous or is among the losers. Abdullah bin Salman says, I once asked the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam about Fattan. The Prophet said, He is an angel who will come before Nakir and Munkar. He will say to the dead to write down all of his performance during his lifetime in his worldly life. The dead would say, I don't remember. Roman says, but I do remember and commands to write. How do I write and on what do I write? Your fingers as your pen, your saliva as your ink, and on your shroud as the paper, write. He quickly starts writing his good deeds. And when he wants to write the bad, he is ashamed. Roman says, you are ashamed now? 
were you not ashamed of the Almighty God when you were committing these sins? He lifts his whip to beat him up. The dead says, wait, let me write. When he has written down his performance report, Roman says, seal it. The dead says, how? With your finger and hang it on your neck until the day of judgment. In this regard, the glorious Quran says, وَكُلُّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُقِهِ وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا And we have made every man's actions to cling to his neck. And we will bring forth to him on the resurrection day a book which he will find wide open. اقرأ كتابك كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبا Read your book. Your own self is sufficient as a reckoner against you this day. Ruman Fattan al-Qubur After checking him in, reports to Nakir and Munkar. Based upon his performance report, they appear in either a good or a bad form. Bara bin Azibs, among the companions of the Apostle Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wasallam says, We were with the Prophet. There was a congregation. He inquired, Why have they gathered? They answered, They are digging a grave. The Prophet ran towards it. Bara bin Azib says, the Prophet وسلم, sat on one side of it and I sat in front of him to see what he does. The Holy Prophet وسلم, wept a lot. He then addressed us all and said, Ikhwani, hadha fa'a'iddu. My brothers, Avail such place for yourselves. Be prepared. Qutb Rawandi reports that Prophet Isa alayhi salam called his mother Maryam alayhi salam after her passing away. Mother, speak to me. Do you want to return to this world? She said yes. So that I on a cold and a chilly night could pray to God and to fast on a hot day. She then says, My son, the way ahead is very tough and scary. Hazrat Zahra Salamullahi Alayha in her will to Imam Ali Alayhi Salam says, When I die, you, Ali, wash me, prepare me, say the prayers, bury me, sit by my head in my grave and recite Qur'an and Dua a lot, as prosperity is when a dead in need is acquainted and comforted by those alive. Sayyid ibn Taus reports from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam says there is no time tougher than the first night in the grave. Have mercy on your deceased by giving some sadaqah. Have mercy on your dead. If you could not give any sadaqah, then recite the Salat Wahshatul Qabr. Marhum Mullah Fat Ali Sultan Abadi among the great ulama of the Shia world says, It was my habit that whenever I was informed of a loved one or a friend has passed away, I recited a Turak at prayer for him for the first night of his burial. Whether I knew the deceased or not, and no one knew of this habit of mine, until one day a friend of mine met me in the streets. He said, a friend of his who has recently 
died, I saw him in my dreams. I asked him about his arrival at Barzakh. He said I was in difficulty and pain. When the prayers of Marhum Fat Ali Sultan Abadi saved me, Ma'asum salam says, Performing a correct and a perfect ruku in your prayers helps from a severe grave. Recitation of La ilaha illallah al malik al haqq al mubeen a hundred times a day is a protection from poverty and the horror in the grave. Recitation of Surah Yaseen before going to bed helps. To perform the prayers of Laylatul Raghaib on the first Thursday on the sacred month of Rajab helps. One who visits an ill, the Almighty, will appoint an angel to visit him from the day of his arrival in his grave till the day of judgment. The Holy Prophet وسلم, to Amir al muminin Imam Ali السلام, says, O Ali, be pleased, give good news, for your Shia at the time of death is no regret, no fright of grave, and no grief on the day of resurrection. Wa subhana rabbika rabbil azzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-Mursaleen. Allahumma <laughs>